Welcome to After Class with the Accounting Program at Nicolay College. My name is Joel DeNamer and today I'll be going through three tax tips with you to help you with this filing season. The first tax tip we're going to talk about today is called the American Opportunity Credit. And this is an education credit. And it's for the first four years of post-secondary education. And what this qualifies for is the first $2,000 of books and tuition that we pay for, we get 100% credit on our tax return. Of the next $2,000 that we spend on tuition and books, we get up to 25% of that. So taxpayers could qualify for up to a $2,500 education credit every year. The second credit we're going to talk about is the Retirement Savers Credit. Now the federal government already gives us lots of incentives to save for retirement. For example, when you put money into a traditional IRA, we generally get a deduction for that on our 1040. Or if you put money into a pension plan through your employer, that money comes off your paycheck pre-tax, which means you don't have to pay federal or state income tax on that when you put that money into that pension plan. What the Retirement Savers Credit does is it gives you an extra incentive of up to a 10 to a 50% credit on that amount that you already put into that either pension plan or IRA for certain low-income taxpayers. The third tax credit we're going to talk about today is called the Dependent Care Credit. And what this is for, this is for people who have to work or go to school full-time and put their children in childcare. So this gives people a credit back for some of those expenses that they have to pay for childcare. The federal government loves it when we work or when we save for retirement or when we go to college. So they give us lots of incentives to do those things. I hope these tips helped you today and they'll help you file your tax return this year.